little plastic insert there. Once you turn it, it makes it a little easier. It works it around and works it up in there. And from there, once you get it right, you just kind of push and you'll hear the little click, click. Like that. But now what we're going to do is going, we're going to uh, pull this uh, 90 back off of here. And this time we're going to mark. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, use the park uh, shark bite tool so that I can show you how it actually works. It's fairly simple. Right now I'm trying to... Uh, give you a great focus on the camera so when I do go to push it off it's gonna go flying uh, there's a better way to do this I'm, I can get it off easier than that but this makes it easy for me to show you and if you noticed it pushed up on the little sleeve there and once it pushed up on the sleeve it relieved the uh, it relieved the uh, shark teeth that are in there shark bite teeth that are in there it kind of pushed those out the way so that the pipe can slide right out Okay, we're gonna we're going to uh, put this back in here, slip it right back in spot again. But this time, we're gonna put we're going to uh, put a mark on the uh, end of the shark bite so that we know the uh, so we get to determine the depth of how far this needs to be pushed in when we go do the other ones. Okay, so we're going to mark it here, and once we mark it, we're going to pull it back out, and we're going to get our measurement. And that way, when we, uh, each pipe that we have, we can just go ahead and put the measurement on there, and once we push the shark bite in, we know that we are in far enough. Now, it won't go flying all over the place because I can control it, and I'm not trying to uh, focus for the camera right now. Okay, there's two marks on here. The first one is when I didn't have it in far enough, but uh, well, once I finally pushed it in further, I got the uh, second mark, which should be the uh, actual true mark. And so we're going to measure it. And right there we see seven eighths, about seven eighths, right there, an uh, inch and seven eighths. I know that I'm measuring it from the three inch mark but a lot of us do this out in the field it makes it a little easier to read rather than trying to go to the end sometimes now this should slide right into the uh, second mark which it did so now we know that uh, all the other ones that we push in we're going to want to measure seven eighths and push it into seven eighths and we know that it's in solid C and H. Cold, hot.
it's uh, really not that hard pushing these in. Um, okay, you see we have it in there. It's a little difficult for me right now because I'm trying to uh, give you a angle shot with the uh, camera. And this is going to be the bottom part for the tub spout. And this is a very important part right here when measuring this because you don't want it to you don't want to measure it too short to where it would uh, it would conflict with the uh, escutcheon if you bring it up too high it would be in the way of the discussion and you won't be able to get the discussion on or the uh, tub spout so you just want to make sure that you uh, have the measurement to where it will uh, miss the discussion and the directions will be in the uh, box itself uh, I've been doing it a long time so I pretty much know the uh, measurements are going to be and it's going to be six inch center to center from the uh, center of the valve to the uh, center of that um, wing L. So if that's going to be six inch, then I'm not going to uh, cut a six inch piece. That means I have to make it center to center six inch. So now from there, I will measure the piece in the middle. Which I'm not mistaken was um, it was three and three quarters something like that when I measured the first time. But don't go by my measurements. Please read the directions. I know some of this might become redundant but for the uh, viewers out there that you know there are people out there that actually want to see uh, they want to catch the uh, what they might have missed or they want to get it a different aspect because uh, sometimes even though it's redundant it's not exactly done exactly the same way uh, so I do understand that. Okay, now we're going to we're going to get. Uh, seven eighths and seven eighths on each end of this uh, small piece of pipe we're measuring those pieces so that when we slip it into the uh, this is the uh, three and three quarter inch piece of copper for the uh, tub spout Okay, we have our we already have our marks on here, so we're just going to push it up till we meet our marks and we know that it will be in solid and connected properly. <laughs> <laughs> 